Okay guys, this is an old book. I can say mm, pages are torn off. Uh, but this book is uh, old because it's when my mother was a little girl and she was planning to save it when she had a son. So let's start. The adventure awaits us. There was a king. He lived in a grand palace. He lived with his queen and prince. He had many servants and cooks. The king and everybody in the palace liked sweets. The king's cooks made the best sweets. Fragrance of the sweets spread in the palace. It also spread in the town. It pleased everybody. Kalu, the potter, lived at another end of the town. Fragrance of the sweets reached Kalu's home. One rat named Ranja lived there. Ranja, the rat, enjoyed the fragrance. Ranja's mouth began to water. Ranja, the rat, had a big gang of relatives and friends. They all could smell the sweets. They thought, we must taste the sweets. Ranja fo the rat followed the smell of the sweets, and all the rats followed Ranja. They rushed into the palace. All the rats reached the palace. They attacked the dishes the sw of sweets. They opened the tins and jars. They enjoyed a lot of fun in the palace. The king saw he was much worried. How to get rid of these rats, he asked the wise men. The wise men thought a wonderful plan. They advised let us bring cats to drive away the rats. The king ordered his servants to bring cats. The servants brought cats from every corner of the town. Big and small, fat and thin, gray and white, cats came in. The cats entered the palace from the doors. The cats jumped into the palace from the windows. The cats did a very good job. Soon, the rats ran away from the palace. Now the cats were the guests of the king. They sat on the king's seat, they slept in the king's pillows, they played on, in the kitchen and everywhere. But the king was not happy. The cats made the palace dirty. Again, the king called to his wise men. The wise men advised, bring dogs to drive away the cats. The dogs were brought in, black and brown, gray and white, barking brave, growling and howling, dogs came in. They chased the cats. The cats fled away within a few minutes. <laughs> now the dogs enjoyed living in the palace. They ate sweets from the king's dishes. They slept on the king's bed. Happy, happy, the dogs were. Sad, sad, the king was. Again, the wise men were called in. The king asked, Is there any way to get rid of these dogs? The wise men advised, Bring tigers to dry away the dogs. Tigers were brought in. Tawani with black stripes, fierce and furious. They roared after the dogs. The dogs were afraid and ran away. Now the tigers enjoyed living in the palace. They ate, they drank, and they lived happily. After some days, the king was again unhappy. The palace was full of bad smell of the tigers. Again, the wise men were called in. They advised, bring lions to drive away the tigers. Lions were brought in, big and brave. They waggled their tails, they shook their heads and roared. The tigers were afraid. The lions drove them out of the palace. They fled away. No tiger was seen in the palace after some time. Now the kings of the forests became the kings of the palace. They slept and slept on the king's throne. The real king had no room to sit or sleep in the palace. 
The king was again miserable. This was too much for a king to allow. Again the wise men were called in. The wise men thought and thought. Now what to do? The lions is the king of the forest who is stronger than a lion. Let us find some small creatures who can harass even the lions. Which could be such a creature? It is only the rat, not else. Again, Ranj the rat was invited. Ranja said, it is only our job. We can drive away the lions in a twinkle of an eye and give us a promise. The king said, what? Ranja said, then you should not call cats to drive us away. The king laughed and said, agreed, it is my promise. Ranja's rat army arrived. The rats jumped on the lions when they were fast asleep. One nibbled a lion's hair. The other nibbled its mustaches, the third bit its tail, the fourth poked its sharp teeth in the lion's paw. The lions jumped, raised their paws, but what a large number of rats to face. If four were thrown off, forty attacked. The lions were puzzled and pursed. They ran, they and ran. The rats ran after them. They drove away the lions into the forest. Ranja gave this news to the king. The king became very happy. The king gave a grand feast to the rats. And the king said, Ranja, I thank you very much. You can stay in the palace. Guys, you know, I think this is a very nice story, don't you? Goodbye.